Treasure ones, welcome back to another video. This is John and welcome to my journey. Look at the sunset. We came just in time. I had to do a lot of stuff, but always try to be here on time to enjoy the sunset. So, welcome to my journey. You have celebrity status. Guys, the anointing that you have doesn't make you an ordinary person. It doesn't. A lot of you, people see, and they see you as a millionaire. They see you as a celebrity. People see exactly that you're a rock star. Others will see you as a musician, you're a rock star, famous musician. And they see that and they are overshadowed by that light. In the beginning, before they knew you, really knew you, they started, they thought you were just a normal person, like sensitive, always going through hard times and all that. And they thought they were better than you until they slowly started discovering exactly of who you really are. And they saw that you're different. You have something in you, the way you think, the way you speak, the way you work, the way you act, your behavior, the way you dress. And I'm going to tell you guys something that they begin to see that you're destined for great destined for great things okay a lot of people who get intimidated by you are narcissists they it's i want to talk about your celebrity status because a lot of you are on a mission here and your status in the spiritual realm is royal priesthood you're royalty. You're not. You were born among the people. And the reason why you were born here, I'm on almost the lower social classes. It doesn't matter. You've been through a lot. The reason is because you were supposed to learn from this. You're supposed to learn from this, to gain experience. You are a soul. You are like, you're so kind. You're so giving. Some of you are angels on a mission. I know some people ask me, can you talk about earth angels? Guys, earth angels, I don't like to use the word earth angels. I know accidentally sometimes used, but it's not in the Bible. But some of you are angels on a mission. I'm going to call it like that. Okay? So you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're so giving. You're so kind. You're intuitive. You have a different type of mindset that has nothing to do with carnal ways of the people here in this world. In this world. And I'm going to tell you guys something that you're going to be elevated. That seed that God put into you is manifesting, is germinating. The status that you have in the spiritual realm, you wear white garments of glory. It's manifesting slowly here in this world. God is taking over. He's going to come and live with us here in this earth. And he's preparing the ground. And slowly and steadily he's gaining ground. The devil is desperate. He's scared. That's why he's fighting you. He's trying to deem that light. He's trying to fight that manifestation. And he's trying to attack you. He's trying to discourage you. And if you don't know Christ, if you don't know exactly your calling, you feel that you're different, but you don't know where, to, where you belong, you're going to have a hard time. But once you come to Christ, once you understand exactly what the chosen ones are, what their purpose is, once you start understanding or what your purpose is in this world, and you, you learn how to fight it, that's how God teaches you. He will learn about spiritual warfare. You start wearing the armor of God. You will wash yourself with the blood of Christ. You will wash your loved ones with the blood of Christ. You will stand in the gap. And people see who you really are. And you're not going to be, guys, I'm going to tell you something. Just because, okay, I'm telling you that you have a celebrity status. People think, heads turn once you enter the room. People sense it. Like something changed. And they look around and they see you coming in. Okay. Here's the sun. I wish it was a little bit warmer. It's... The wind is a little bit, it's cool wind coming from the west. But anyways, 
guys, I'm going to tell you something. Now, don't assume, of course, that's because you have, as when I say that, your celebrity status. Doesn't mean that all celebrities are of the Lord. I heard a person telling me, I think all celebrities are angels. No, not all celebrities are angels. Okay? Some of them have sold and sold their souls to the devil. And they they've compromised with the devil. They compromise their beliefs and they work for him. And there's gonna be like God is separating. There's good and bad everywhere, and there's God separating. The people, it doesn't matter where they are, which groups they are, which families, they're separating. There's a knife cutting and loose because how can you, how have you, how many times have you felt your own family disowning you and not understanding who you really are? How many of you have felt that? Okay. And you're like, why is my, and you felt so alone. And then you grow, you grew closer to God and you started spending time with Him. You realize that you have to spend time with God. He's the only one who looked after you out of all this. And then you met other chosen ones and they became your family. And now all of you are working out on this situation, on your life and your calling. How many times? You have celebrity status. You have that energy, that anointing that really exudes out of you. It's the seed that God planted you and it starts getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Protect your anointing. The anointing is protecting you. But how do you protect your anointing? By praying ceaselessly every day. Isolating from negative people. Narcissistic people. Because the narcissists are going to be your first enemies. The devil is going to use the first ones that are going to try to attack you. Okay? Remember that narcissists will be competitive. Probably that's a different kind of video that I should make about narcissists. They're competitive. They'll see it. They'll try to pretend they're with you, but actually they're digging you hole. They will try to copy you as much as possible, the things you say, the things you do. And once they realize they cannot be like you, they will try to destroy you and take everything else from you. But you know what? God says the devil, they will fail in their mission. God's going to exalt you no matter what. And when they dump you and they discard you, it's going to come back to them. Stay away from these people, guys. Because you're destined for glory. You don't have time for these things. You don't have time to waste on people uh, that are not of the Lord. Who have chosen to compromise with the devil. Who have given up on the Jesus. Okay. It's a nice sunset. Remember, guys, that everything is going to work out in your life everything's going to work out you have you draw attention to it from others but the thing is everybody's paying attention to you everybody your enemies your family members your friends people who just know you people who just get to know you people who just bump into you people you just pass by on the subway as you walk on the streets you know they see something different about you People who need help. And the good and the bad gets your attention. Angels will come to you. Demons will come to you. You know? Like, we never get bored, man. Seriously. The anointing always keeps you busy. Spiritually. Not every... All chosen ones have celebrity status. That will come into position of power and authority. This earth, this wretched world, is going to be changed. Okay? There's a major cleansing coming. And your frame, the anointing that you carry, is going to help you destroy strongholds, destroy principalities, goliaths, demons, familiar spirits, darkness, and the
the light will prevail. You draw attention. People can't just think. They they can't stop thinking about you. They see, wow, that guy. You know, and they remember you for years. Once they see you and they meet you, they remember you. You know, you are important to the kingdom of heaven. Your royal priesthood. You have a mighty destiny. And what's happening now is that the Lord is bringing the chosen ones together in groups where all these people with anointings are adding up. They don't feel fear anymore. They don't feel alone. They bless each other. They encourage each other. Okay? They work on ideas. They try to support each other. They try to help each other. And it's like a window of light, a window of heaven in their lives as they try to come up with each other, to get together with each other. Guys, I'm telling you that you're going to change the world. Okay? Royal families will fix their crowns every time they see you. They're going to like fix it, make sure they look okay. Because you're way above that because they're just people. Royal families, the British royal family, the European royal families, the I don't know, I'm sure there are probably some African royal families, maybe Asian royal families. They have, they're just people. You know? But you have the royal priesthood ordained by the Lord. And Jesus is the Lord of Lords, and you are his sons and daughters. Okay? Please continue to tie to this ministry. Thank you for the tithings, guys. Please continue to support because um, we're trying to get organized with a movie, especially. And uh, part, part of the tithings that you give to the ministry is going to go to the movie. Okay? So you can tie then to, we're just making it easier. We placed uh, the link that I'm going to post, uh, I'm posting on the, um, on the comments. Uh, you'll be able to click in and you can tie it with PayPal, Apple Pay, credit card, however you like. We try to make it f as flexible as possible. And also, if you tie it into this ministry instead, part of the money is going to come to them. Like every time we receive some tithings, a portion of that goes to the movie, to the funding of the movie. We reduce the, uh, we cut down the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the budget to make it easier as we, we're getting organized as much as we can. And also, if you, I know some of you are struggling and financially and you can't, either you can just pray for us. This movie is a great calling that God has bestowed upon the ministry. Uh, we're working with people now to make it happen. And uh, for those of you that can't tithe, please watch the video, promote the videos on your social media because uh, as we increase the traffic, uh, money comes in daily, money, uh, like the ministry makes money from that. And a portion from that money, monthly income, will go also to the movie. Okay. I better leave. I think the, the dogs are noticing that I'm around. They're guarding the place. As you see, this place here, like burglars sometimes come in to take scrap metal and things like that. So there's a uh, security guard nearby. Like, he knows me, but this is the time and hour that uh, he lets the dogs out, and I want to, uh, I need to leave. So, guys, continue to support the ministry. Download the Spiritual Warfare Prayers for protection. Some of you are asking exactly whether you should pray. You know what? Praying, uh, just pray for, for vindication. Pray the Psalms. Um... If you need the spiritual warfare prayers, the links are in the video description. Download them, pray them daily, and God will take care of that. Don't take the matter to your own hands when it comes to vengeance. Vengeance is not yours. Don't take vengeance. Love them, forgive them, and give the battle to God. Because God is the judge. He knows exactly what's in their hearts, and He will act accordingly to bring everything to justice and balance. Okay? So, now, 
check out the Udemy YouTube course. Uh, uh, it will help you if you're interested of, uh, if you have a calling about building a YouTube channel, this is the course for you. It's very cheap. Um, many times it's on price offer, like the last time I think it was $11.99. So, and also, uh, check out the YouTube channels that I have where I post once in a while in the, uh, the music. Uh, Yanis Kappa, I've been having sounds, and Yanis Kappa guitar. Guys, if you're interested in guitar lessons, this is the lesson for you. This is the channel for you. I love what I do, and uh, it's more like, it's not just a guitar lesson, it's a spiritual experience, okay? I have finished guitar degree, classical guitar degree. I teach acoustic guitar, classical guitar, and I want to tell you guys that I love what I do. And my, my, my students actually learn from this. They grow musically. Anyways, back to the subject. Support the ministry as much as possible, guys, okay? And we help the people in need also. So, your celebrity status, a lot of you are millionaires. Are you going to, you're going to become a millionaire. You're going to become the first million in your family. The anointing that you carry, the royal priesthood, is trying to, is gaining ground, it's growing. The more you grow in Christ, the more you grow spiritually, the more battles you're going to win. So feed it. Feed it as much as possible, okay? Nothing, no weapon formed against you prosper. And try to isolate yourselves. Be weary. Also, when you come into a position of power and authority, be careful, guys, because you're going to attract people. You always attract people, and there's good and bad people. You have to discern out of these people who are the good ones. Because people will see exactly who you're becoming, who, who, who you're about to become. Some people will understand it as soon as they meet you and they don't know you really well. Some people will understand it a little bit later on. Some people will find it when you come into a position of power and authority. And they will try to take advantage of it. They will try to come. And you know what? They will compete with you. They will try to bring you down. They'll try to take advantage of you. All sorts of things. The devil is going to use these people because they're narcissistic. Okay? So your celebrity is going to manifest, but you need to be very discerning once you come into that position. Okay? People will remember you. You got to be on TV. You're going to be on social media. People will listen to you. You will have your, how should I say, your words and whatever you say, it's going to be transformative and transmittive. I think I'm saying the right word, transmittive. It's going to transmit messages of the Lord to the people. You're going to have influence. You're going to overshadow others. And remember, guys, that when the light prevails, there's no room for darkness. There's no darkness. Okay? When you focus on Jesus, you see no darkness. But you got to be smart as a serpent, not just kind as a dove. A lot of you are kind as a doves, but not as smart as serpents. And that's why you're going through all these uh, experiences here in this world. And this world, guys, belongs to the devil. That's why you're facing all these things. It's not easy. It's not easy. You have a mission. You need to fulfill it. Some of you are angels on a mission. Okay? I'm not using the terminology earth angels. I don't want to use that. It's new age. I don't want to use it. But some, I know that some people who God sent, they're angels. And only when you come to Jesus... He will fight your battles. I've seen these guys in my personal life that Jesus will literally protect you. Yes, there will be attacks. You will go through a lot, but you've got to come out stronger. Everything else will vanish. Jesus is coming back. He's going to prevail. Okay? He's going to put you in a position where you're going to help souls come closer and many souls come back to the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So remember, guys, you're going to overcome your enemies. Any narcissistic people who try to stop you will lose everything. 
they will lose literally everything. I pray that they heal any people who try to attack you. I pray that they heal. I pray that they come to repentance. But beyond that point, it's up, up, it's up to God. He will decide. There are a lot of demons that just torturing people and they're keeping, keeping their souls captive to take them away. You know what I mean. Take their souls away. But as long as we stay close to Jesus and we pray to the Father and the Holy Spirit, everything's going to work out just fine. You have celebrity status. You're destined for great things. Some of you are going to excel in music. Some of you will do ministry. Some of you will do it like the anointing will have unlimited possibilities. Guys, I'm telling you, you got to have unlimited possibilities. You were like, is this guy an actor? Is this like, you got to be multi-talented. All the knowledge and the information and the experience that you gained and that anointing, the grace of God, like pouring down out of you. You're going to become a leader. People will listen to you. And everything you touch is going to turn to gold. Everything you touch. Imagine how powerful you're becoming. And imagine now that the chosen ones are coming together. They're coming together in groups. They're getting to know each other. But guys, I'm going to tell you something. you got to become Christ-like. Otherwise, they're going to be discord. The devil is going to use you if you don't become Christ-like. This is an advice. We're open to many people. I understand. But I begin to realize in my experience that uh, when you come to pray to him, pray to him however you like, whatever kind of person you are, I don't, I don't know. But Jesus is coming back. And uh, I pray that all the chosen ones will turn to Christ. Excuse me, guys. My storage went full and I had to make some room to continue with the uh, video. Guys, okay, celebrity status. Okay, you're going to become, as I said, you got to become Christ-like. Because despite, as you, as you can see, the devil is attacking Christianity. He doesn't attack anybody else. Jesus is his enemy. Everywhere we see in the world, there is persecution from all sides from and but you know what Jesus is Victor he runs the show he's gonna prevail anyways enough of that we have to we have to understand that your role in this world is imperative okay you have a power that was given to you my god that nobody else can have many people are jealous of you they're like why him and not me i've done and i prayed and i've been obedient all my life and now this guy comes along they don't understand that you were born in this world for this mission for specifically for this mission you chosen ones and chosen ones, they, they had to come from all walks of life. Some of them are homeless. Every, all chosen ones are being persecuted. A lot of them are being done, are being attacked by witchcraft, gang stalking. They've lost everything. They've lost their families. Their families disowned them. You know? And they try to... How should I say? And they had a past. Not all of them, but a lot of them had a past that they overcame and they got forgiven. And people that keep finger pointing, it's like, this person has done this in their life. So why, how come God's favor is never fair? God sees the heart. These people who are jealous of you they cannot handle the anointing. The anointing is so hard, so hard, so heavy to carry. The challenges that you meet in your life are so heavy. These people would have quit. 
you know, or they would have committed suicide. They're not as strong as you are. Your strength comes out. And guess what? You inspire others to become strong as well because of your leadership role. Okay? These people, the reason that you went through all this to become from the first, from the last of the last to become the first of the first is for you to understand the people's pain of what they're going through. And because you have power and authority, those words will have power, they will give encouragement and comfort to the ones who went through hard times. Only thing you have to say is like, I know what you're going through. Because you will speak the truth. Because these people, who whatever they went through, they, their poverty and their lack of, the, the, the poorness, the, the sadness, the pain, the persecution, and a lot of people are suffering right now. A lot of people are suffering and they're gonna come to you for comfort so they can feel strong again. So they can stand up on their own two feet. And you're gonna be the ones who you are going to help them out. To give them words of power. To give them strength. Just your words. Your anointing is so strong. Just speaking a few words and listening to them. Yes, I understand and all these simple words. They're going to have an immense effect on them. That's the anointing. People have certain ideas in their head of how what the anointed chosen ones are and all that. People think the chosen ones are a cult. It's how come it's a cult when you see people just out of nowhere without knowing each other having these revelations by the Holy Spirit and the way they speak the way they talk secular churches will see the anointed ones the, the movement of the anointed ones are just cult they talk about this in churches I say oh no it's just a cult they're not organized people from all over the world are waking up to this. It, is, it didn't click to them one time when they got out of bed and said, you know what? You know what? I'm a chosen one. That's why I'm going through all this. No, they didn't think about this. There was revelation by the Holy Spirit. Dreams, visions. God speaks to them. And you're going through a lot because people think you're crazy. A lot of chosen ones, especially when the ones who are being gang stalked, they think the gang stalkers are narcissists who are trying to attack them and make, oh, he's just having mental illness. It's not mental illness. Gang stalking is real. And it's so subtle and evil. You see, guys, the devil is not come out up front and attack you in an open battle. He comes sneakily underground to entice you and to piss you off, to frustrate you, to really eliminate you. That's how powerful you are. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And the devil sees that. He wants to take you out completely. Truth be said, these are facts. These are facts. Guys, remember this. Because you have to stay close to Jesus and wash yourself with the blood of Christ in order to prevail. You know? Don't watch social media. Try to find the truth. There's a lot of confusion out there. A lot of people fall out of grace. Even if they be, have humble beginnings, a lot of people fall out of grace. Which means they do YouTube videos from just to make money. You know? Just to make money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Because you compromise the gift that God gave you in order to make money. Guys, God is calling you. God is with you. Be careful, guys. Read your Bible. Spend time with the Lord. Get your discernment up. Wear the armor of God. Fast, pray, worship. Do all these things. Okay? God is with you. And be very discerning of things you see.
you know it's uh for my personal experience i gotta tell you guys without jesus there's no discernment we're blind completely blind like i appreciate all religions all spiritual paths and all that yes but i'm telling you prophetically that christianity is going to prevail the devil is trying to remove christianity out of, out of the world it seems to everybody that christianity is losing ground i assure you guys that everything is going to fall in place and victory is going to be the of jesus jesus is going to have the victory god sees everything he sees everything don't be fooled with what you see because god also works underground He's working behind the scenes, but it's not, he's going to reveal it at the, same, at the right time. Anyways, I think I got off topic. So you have a mighty mission, a mighty destiny. And God wants you to stay close to him so he can bless you and elevate you. People will see of who God is and are going to run to him back. They're going to run back to him. Okay, and you're gonna play a mighty role. You're the front line of the kingdom of heaven here on earth. God is protecting you mightily, despite the attacks, despite the problems that you face and the challenges. God has always kept you. Try to reflect back in your life how many close calls you had, how many problems you faced. You ran out of money. You couldn't afford to pay your bills. And somehow God kept you. He sent certain people to bless you. You know, you were persecuted in the churches, but there were some people that blessed you in these churches. Or He removed you completely and you started spending time and you turned your house into a church. All these things that you went through will not go in vain. Okay? Every narcissistic person that went and attacked you, because everybody, a lot of people are narcissistic these days. They worship themselves and they sway the crowds. People are so blind, they just follow blindly. Oh, you're this, you're that. The thing like this person is the best person in the world. But little do they know that these narcissists have used literally everybody and everyone to their own advantage. God sees all these things. Guys, stop. Sorry, the dog's barking. Okay, let's head this way. Despite the attacks, despite what these people have taken away from you, God is going to restore back to you double. Ten times. Hundred times. Hundredfold times. A thousand times. Okay, because God hurts, He pains for His children. You are children of God, and the Father loves His children. He looks after them, and He's pissed off with your enemies. He's very angry. When you come into your position of power and authority, because you're basically your anointing is manifesting right now in your life, the seed is growing and expanding. Remember that the harder the, an the anointing process, the bigger the blessing. And some of you have gone through a lot. A lot. And nobody was there to comfort you and protect you. Of course, you shouldn't trust people. Trust only God, guys. Trust only the Lord. Because He sees everything. He sees their hearts. He sees their schemes, their plans, how they think. And if you, you know what, I hear, I talk about this with a lot of people and they, they feel sadness for these people that made the wrong decision. I say, I feel sad for my parents. I feel sad for my siblings and the family members that went against me. That's a true heart right there, guys. Unconditional love and forgiveness. That's how kind you are. That's why God is going to put you in a pedestal. He's going to put you at the head table. Your cup will overflow. The anointing oil will run over your head. He's going to bless you in front of your enemies. First of all, he's going to, 
He's gonna, he's protecting you. Okay. He saw everything. And then he's gonna vindicate you. Give me a second, a car is passing by. And another car. There's traffic here. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. He's gonna separate and scatter your enemies in seven directions. He's gonna bring them confusion. He's going to take away everything that they've done against you, everything that they took from you. He's gonna restore it back to you. He's gonna punish them to the point where they won't be able to escape. And here's the, the interesting part is that when these people, you know what, are these people gonna get it? Are these people gonna get it? And there's a car coming by. Excuse me. Give me a second, there's a lot of traffic in this road too. He's pressing the brakes. What does he want? Maybe he wants to go slow. Sorry, guys. So, let's continue on. So, he's gonna punish your enemies. Everything that they've done to you, they're gonna go through 10 times fold. It's gonna hurt. And he, the last part is he's gonna bless you in public. He's gonna bless you in public in front of them and they will see it. And at the same time, he will block them in such a way that they won't be able to do anything to stop it. As you can see, guys, God is in control. You are part of his plan. You are at the front line of his kingdom. Okay, and nothing will stop it. Nope. You're destined for glory and that's what's gonna happen. Many public places are gonna happen. And these battles, you gotta understand the patterns of these battles as long as you stay in his presence. Okay. So, not to worry about a thing. Keep praying, fasting, keep worshiping the Lord, read the Bible, and everything is going to turn all right. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Sometimes people are like, that's all you want to say, John. You always say everything's going to be okay. Like, I know, because it is so. And I want to point that out so it sticks in your head, so you understand that everything's going to be all right. You know what I mean? So not to worry. You're going to reach your celebrity status. You're, it's already in you. And stay away from people. Don't trust people. Try to assert and God will send you the right destiny helpers. He's bringing the chosen ones together in this season. Where he's going to use them mightily to work together to, towards common goals. Okay. You're going to come out of poverty. You're going to have blessings perfect thoughts, perfect relationships, perfect everything. All your aspects of your, of your perfect feelings, perfect emotions are going to be healed completely. You're going to be a testimony to everybody that God is in control, that God blesses, okay? That God is in control. Anyways, that's all I wanted to tell you. May God bless you and keep you. Remember, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is always on the throne. Take care.